अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो फ्रेंड्स आज हमारे इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वर्ल्ड लाइनर सीरीज का डे इलेवन है सो आइए स्टार्ट करते हैं एक्सपीरियंस इज द बेस्ट टीचर इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पर्सोनिफिकेशन द फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इन विच वी एड्रेस द डेड द एबसेंट ऑफ पर्सोनिफाइड ऑब्जेक्ट और आइडिया इज कॉल्ड ए पोस्ट्रॉफी ओ माई टी सीज डोस्ट दाउ लाइव सोलो इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए पोस्ट्रॉफी ऑक्जी मोरॉन इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स ऑफ अपोजिट मीनिंग इन वन सेंटेंस He led a life of active idleness is an example of oxymoron <coughs> the figure of speech in which a statement is made emphatic by overstatement is called hyperbole she wept oceans of tears is an example of hyperbole alliteration is a figure of speech in which the same letter or sound occurs at the beginning of two or more words in succession the mighty mind my master conveys is an example of alliteration was this was this the face that launched a thousand ships and burned the topless towers of Ilium the figure of speech used here is hyperbole the sounds produced when the soft palate is lowered thus the blocking thus blocking the oral passage of air or called nasal sounds the lower lip and the tongue are articulators that can move and are therefore called active articulators the upper lip the upper row of teeth and the roof of mouth are articulators that remain passive and are therefore called passive articulators the voiced sounds during the production of which air escapes through the mouth freely and continuously without any audible frictional noise are called vowels and what is cardinal vowels cardinal vowels are points of reference with which the vowels of particular languages can be compared next hamara diphthongs are sounds during the production of which the tongue starts in the production of a particular vowel and moves in the direction of another vowel diphthongs are classified into centering diphthongs and closing diphthongs each language has its own system of sounds and also its own specific ways of organizing them into larger units which together constitute its phonology allophones are phonem phonemically the same but phonetically different the pairs of words which differ from each other only in one sound segment are called minimal part phonotactics deals with the way phonemes are combined to form syllables a syllable is a natural division of speech the word kamar has two syllables english language is a language with a stress timed rhythm juncture refers to the phenomenon of pauses in speech intonation refers to the change of pitch and stress in relation to utterances when a sound which exists in a word pronounced in isolation or in connected speech is dropped or elided it is called elision a morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in the structure of a language the part of linguistics that deals with the study of the structure of words is called morphology or morphemics morphology or morphemics next is compounding is the oldest method of word formation where a compound is formed by joining two words back formation is a process by which a word is formed from its source word which has the false appearance of 
a suffix next time are the word editor having an appearance of a noun coined from the verb to edit is an example of back formation the process by which words which are frequently used in conversation and hurried speech are clipped off one or more of their syllables are called shortening or clipping Acronyms are composed of initial letters of words or phrases. The process by which a vowel is elided or and two consonants are brought together is called syncopation. Portmanteau words are formed by combining the initial sounds of a word and last sounds of another word. Antonomasia is a literary trope where a personal name is used instead of a common name as in Shakespeare was the Homer a flashing eye becoming a flashing guy is an example of meta analysis in meta analysis the consonant at the top at the end of one word gets attached to the vowel at the beginning of the next word next hamar the study of meaning is called semantics the process by which a word acquires a wider and more general meaning is called generalization specialization denotes the narrowing of meaning of certain words in euphemism words are used in a roundabout polished manner so as to avoid a direct harsh reference the phrase by no means is an example of collocation which means a familiar uh, grouping of words that convey meaning by association a group of words that tend to go together as a result of long usage is called collocation the variety of language used by a particular group of individuals is called a dialect okay friends thank you thank you so much see you again